In this video, I want to show you how to use the eyedropper in Filmora. So let's go ahead and get started here. As you can see on the screen, I have some text. So this is going to be the text color I'm going to be changing here using the eyedropper. Now, if you have anything on the screen, let's say you have some text here, make sure it's selected. You want to double click on it here on the timeline. And if you look on the properties here, you're going to see that we have our, our uh, section here where we're going to be able to change the color. Now, a lot of people like to go over to the more and then they try to find the exact color that they're looking for. Now, you can actually avoid doing all this by just using the eyedropper. So this is going to be this uh, little uh, button here that's next to the color. So select it. Once you have it selected, you're going to see this circle circle here. So now you can navigate anywhere on the screen in Filmora to pick that color and it will be applied to the text here. All right. So if I wanted to pick, uh, let's pick uh, maybe this uh, yellow here. Okay. Let's pick this yellow right here. So like that, this is going to be applied to the text. Okay. Now I can do this again. Select some green color here. Let's do this green here. That's not green actually. Let's do a uh, maybe the grass, something like that, maybe here, something like that. That's not really green, but you get the point here. Now we can actually do this. Let's say I wanted to only select uh, uh, this text here. So if I double click on here, I'll select uh, these two, click and drag, and I'll pick my eyedropper. And I say I want this to be blue. You can do it that way as well, right? You can select individual um, individual uh, different letters here and uh you know, give them, assign them to different colors, which is pretty cool. Okay. So that's a quick and easy way to uh, find colors to add to your objects or text uh, on the screen here. And the cool thing is again, you know, some editing softwares allow you to only select the colors that are within the preview window, but for more, you're going to be able to select any color on the screen here, right? Which is pretty cool. Now that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.